Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. We had a pretty hot day here in West Texas. High temperatures picked up way above average and actually a little bit warmer than what we saw for yesterday afternoon. 92 degrees our high temperature today. Yesterday, we broke up to 90 degrees even. Either way, still way above average. Now, average is continuing to drop off. Actually, yesterday's average high temperature, 85 degrees, but today, 84. That's going to continue to happen as we roll a little bit closer to the middle of fall, as we get closer to the start of our next season on the horizon. We which is winter. Now that's going to continue our trend, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like our high temperatures are actually backing off in any significant way. We've warmed up into the 90s every day this week. There's only been two, but we've got another 90 degree day coming our way for tomorrow. And notice our lows coming in almost 10 degrees above average. It should be a little bit chillier this time of year than it actually is, but we've still got a lot of moisture flowing in from the south and west, and that's allowing a lot of that heat that we achieve each day to stay trapped at the surface and really keeping our temperatures pretty warm, especially in the morning time, and feeling very muggy as well. Now, most of that rain is beginning to die down finally, but we do have a little bit of a lightning still popping up around the Marfa Plateau. That's continuing on for now, but most of that rain is fizzling out. You can see a lot of those yellows, orangish colors finally giving way to a lot of those greenish colors, but in the meantime, we're still expecting a little bit more rain for the rest of the evening, and we've still got this flood advisory in effect until 11.45 p.m. So we've got another hour and a half or so on that before that expires. Valentine included in that, as well as the western edge of Fort Davis. If you're traveling along Highway 90 in any of those locations, do be careful because there are likely to be a lot of flooded sections of that highway. Now, across the basin, we've still got a couple of thunderstorms. It looks like Odessa Midland may be expecting a couple of sprinkles here before the evening is done, but we still have a couple of thunderstorms moving off to the east, dissipating rapidly, as you can tell by the amount of lightning strikes, but at the same time, still approaching Highway 385. No flood advisories or any severe weather warnings or anything like that for this evening. Evening, but we do have more rainfall on the way. We had a lot of light rainfall today, and we can expect more of that for tomorrow afternoon. It'll keep our high temperatures actually pretty similar to what we saw for today. So just be careful while you're driving around if you do get caught up in any of those showers. And we do have the possibility for one or two thunderstorms for tomorrow afternoon as well. Now, this model's doing a great job at matching up with what we see on satellite and radar, showing off a couple of those storms still in place in both intensity and location. But as we go on through the rest of the evening, by around 2 a.m., most of that will be out of the way, if not all of that, leaving behind a lot of cloud cover. But from there, we'll wake up pretty cloudy tomorrow morning, pretty muggy as a result of all that rain evaporating and continuing to swirl around West Texas. But as we get into the afternoon time, that's when we start to see another chance for some very isolated, scattered showers, thunderstorms, all picking up by around that 2, 3 p.m. mark. Now, this is not a very impressive look. I really expect this model to match up pretty well with what we see for tomorrow afternoon. Very, very small, very, very isolated showers with maybe one or two thunderstorms mixed in. Not nearly as strong as what we saw even today. And by the time we get to around 9 p.m. tomorrow evening, most of this will be pretty much out of the way, leaving behind just a couple of showers, possibly for Brewster County. But the basin should be in the clear by the time we get to the evening hours. Now, as far as temperatures go tomorrow. It is going to be another warm day. Temperatures picking up to 93 degrees by 4 p.m. Our high temperature coming just after that mark, right around 94 degrees and a little bit breezy as well. 10, 15 mile per hour winds are definitely expected, as well as that 30 percent chance for some thunderstorms here in Midland and Odessa. Most of the rain is likely to just be regular roll showers with one or two storms mixed in there. I do not expect any severe weather tomorrow, but we could be looking at a chance for more flooding and temperatures back all the way off to the 80s by Saturday and Sunday before picking up both in temperature and rain chances by Monday. Mm. Yeah. So it's not quite feeling like fall. That could change next week. And that's right. That's right. Looks like it's cooling down. And never too early to start, start looking forward to the weekend. This is mm -hmm. going to be a beautiful one. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I agree with 86, everything you said. 86, 89. <laughs> 86, 89. Yeah, perfect. All right, Chase. Thank you. Thanks.